Hello again, this is part two of my backyard video. So this one is a blackberry bush that I planted a year ago and it's grown by the house. This small little guy is the baby blackberry from the same bush that I just found when I was cleaning up. It gave roots, so I cut it out and planted here. And this is a new blackberry right there that I just bought and planted here. So hopefully they like this spot. It gets some good afternoon sun. So hopefully they will get some berries from at least this one this year. And this other one will be good. And this is my current strip that I also just barely started. This is a new black currant that came from my older currant bush just replanted this one is called i think pink champagne i ordered this one and trying to see what these pink currants are going to be and this is a white one also currant so they say it's called white pearl We'll see this year. My currants are doing, and gooseberries are doing pretty good in Utah climate. So I hope this will do too. And moving on again to my vegetable garden. And here it is. We just finished the last bed for this garden, which is this one. This is the newest one, number five. So this one doesn't have anything planted in it yet. Probably will plant my peppers and eggplants in here. Uh, this one with a tunnel because it's still freezing at night sometimes has potatoes. I planted them on March 6th or 7th, something like that. And they already came up, so I don't want them to freeze. We really like early potatoes, so trying to get some head start. Next one has as you can see, onions and garlic. There are also some broccoli right there. I planted both broccoli and broccoli rub. That's what it's called. I think maybe I didn't pronounce it correctly. But also, I have some um, Asian greens in between them. So this is an experiment. I didn't grow them before. But it looks like they're coming up. Right there, you can see. I need to train them a little bit, but it says they're doing good. And here, I think it's a volunteer Swiss chard. I didn't plant it here, but maybe the seeds from last year. I won't say no. I like Swiss chard. And this is why I replanted my strawberry a couple of years ago from that round bed. They're getting more sun here. Looks like some of them are even starting to flower because they have protected them in between the bed and the wall. So here they are. Um, and here is a bed with winter spinach. I'm calling it winter spinach because I actually planted it last fall and it overwintered under the frost fabric. So here it is and so is this onion. Also, there is lots of little sprouts here. Um, this is a new to me. It's a cover crop. It's called hairy vetch. So I never tried cover crop before, but I decided to try some this year. So we'll see how it works. And hopefully all the worth the effort. I will probably plant tomatoes in this one. So by then, which we have about a month, months and one week. That's when we usually plant the tomatoes and other warm leaven veggies in May. So hopefully they will be tall and make me some nitrogen in the soil before I bring the tomatoes here. This little guy I found in the nursery two days ago, or three days ago, and it's a purple kale. I love kale. I know some people like it, some people hate it. 
I love kale, and I planted some, but never seen a purple one before, so we'll see how this one grows and how it tastes. And there are some lettuces that overwinter too, right here. You can see they did pretty good. And also a rocket arugula. And those are some radishes, but I don't think they will make me any radishes. They just kind of grow leaves at this point. And those are overwintered ones too. I didn't plant them in the right time. Uh, this one has a cover crop in it too. And I also planted some daikon radishes, and as you can see, they're starting to come up. And there is some garlic and green onions from last year, which we're still eating, so at some point I will get rid of them and when the new ones will start grow. But for now, it supplies our table with really good greens and vitamins for the spring. Anyways. So, this is my garden. There is a weed patch that I need to take care of, but maybe today I have some time today. So, maybe I will take care of the weeds today. And here is my veggie garden. Again, thank you for coming. Bye.